All right, so the collection is complete. Here is the video for everybody's enjoyment of the downstairs bat cave collection that I've collected over quite some time. Um, these are all um, autographed photos from all the major characters in the Batman movies. That's a really neat signature and piece with Michael Keaton and Bob Kane, the creator of Batman, co-creator, let's get that right. An album cover signed by the entire band in excess, including Michael, who tragically died. Lincoln Park as well, with Chester Bunnington, who died of suicide, unfortunately. Here's a signed guitar by Prince. Neat story behind that. He was at a small club several years back, and somebody got him to sign the guitar. This is a really, really important piece. This is a Stevie, Ron, Stevie Ray Vaughan signed guitar, which was signed the night of the last show he played before he died in the helicopter crash. There are ticket stubs from that show and some of the members that he played with, of course, including Eric Clapton, Buddy Guy, and his brother, and everybody who played with him that day actually signed this guitar as well. Stevie's is right over here somewhere, and it says Soul to Soul, which was the album that he had out about that time, and there's articles from the crash, unfortunately. This is Jimi Hendrix stuff right here. This is a piece of paper that was signed after a concert at the Dorton Arena in Raleigh, North Carolina, February 11th. And gosh, what year was that again? I'm trying to remember what year that was. 1969, I wasn't even born yet. And there's a copy of the banner for the show. There is a guitar that was signed by Jimi Hendrix and The Experience, not played by him, but definitely signed by him. More signatures from Jimi Hendrix and The Experience. Here's my kiss wall. That's the gold Hotter Than Hell record by Kiss. These are neat photographs because these are all the original promo photos from that era, all signed. There's an Eric Singer drum head. There's an original, all four original Kiss band members um, drum head. There's a set list from the, the Charlotte show. This is where we went up to the Kiss show. My wife was pregnant as can be, as you can see. This is a neat guitar because it wasn't played by Paul Stanley, but it was signed by the original members of the band right here. And then on the back, it is also signed by Eric Singer and Tommy Thayer. So that's kind of neat. Uh, let's see here. And let's go over here. Here's a poster signed by the man himself, Neil Peart. There he is. This is another wall, different people that we've met. Oh, there's me with President Trump. I was chosen by the state of West Virginia to greet the president to West Virginia because of uh, the overcoming of drug addiction and all the things in my life. So they wanted me to represent the state. So that was a huge honor. I don't care who you vote for. That's an honor. You just do it. There's Poison, the Newsboys. Here's my wife with Brett Michaels. There's Sugarland. More Brett Michaels. More Poison. Me with Brett Michaels. Um, there's Journey, Night Ranger, Motley Crue, more Newsboys, and Rick Allen from Def Leppard. Now we come into the Motley Crue area. This is really cool. So these are two drumsticks. This first drumstick is from the Shout of the Devil very first big world tour. This drumstick was played on the last world tour. So it's a first and last. Tommy uh, was gracious enough to take a picture with these drumsticks for me sign a nice letter talking about them and these are programs and backstage passes from those particular tours there's another photograph that he signed for me and sent back there's me with tommy that was a guitar that the entire band signed and was played on stage by nikki six and it raised fifteen thousand dollars for the batmobile here is a bass guitar played by nikki six blackbird bass played by him there's pictures of him playing it during the 0506 Red White and Crew at Carnival of Sins tour. There's the letter signed by him stating that he did. There's one of the limited all band signed Motley Crew jackets from the last tour. This is a neat piece. These are four lab coats from that album cover, Kickstart, the cassette album cover. 
they wore those lab coats in the album cover and Tommy signed his for me and then Nikki signed his. There's a set list. This is another interesting piece. These are, yep, you know it, during the Dr. Feel Good tour, Tommy came out on stage and wore these crazy studded bikinis. He had a few pairs of them. This is probably one of, if there's any left, I don't know. These are letters from Terry King who actually designed all their clothing for them at the time, stating, yep, these are legit. And this is a shirt that Tommy wore in a promo photo shoot right there. And that's the shirt. And here is the uh, conversation I had with Tommy when I asked him if I sent it to him, if he'd sign it. And he said, sure, man, just make it easy with return postage. So there we go. There's me with the band again. That was the last meet and greet that Tommy was doing with the entire band during that tour. Here's a rat drum head. Here's an Aerosmith drum head. Here's a Metallica cymbal. Here's a drumstick given by Lars to me and my road dog Todd when we went out to Kansas City to see them. And then there's the set list from that show. There's a nice birthday thing that he signed for me for my birthday. Here's a signed Foreigner guitar. Here is a signed original Van Halen members guitar. Here's a neat guitar. It was actually drawn on and signed by Guy Gilchrist, who is Jim Henson's right-hand man, the animator with the Muppets. Here's a Warrant guitar, won at auction at the Gettysburg Battlefield Bash. Very thankful for that. Great cause to support. Love my peeps in Gettysburg. Here's another epic moment. This is my daughter with Steve Harris from Iron Maiden, where she met him just this past weekend at the Hard Rock Cafe in Nashville, Tennessee, the day before the show. This is a drum head that was won in an auction at the uh, VIP pre-show party that she got, signed by Nico. This is an Aces hi-hat that somebody bought for her for her birthday, because we were there celebrating her birthday. These are all wristbands from everybody except for Bruce Dickinson. I don't have his yet. There's Adrian, Janique, or Yannick, and uh, Dave. And here's a, a really cool guitar that I got. It is signed. It's kind of hard to see them because of the way that the ink colors are, but. It's got all the different eddies on it and it's signed by the whole band. Here's a set list, copy of a set list that was given. I'm giving the original set list to some good friends of ours that we met. And let's see what else. Where are we at now? There's an Ozzy Osbourne, one of my favorite songs. When I was coming home from Iraq, it was Mama, I'm Coming Home. Here is some really cool stuff. Brandon Lee signed. The Brandon Lee signature, all from The Crow, of course. The Motley Crue final tour guitar. Us with the band again as Batman and Batgirl. That was good times. There's me with Brett Michaels. Met him at a club here in West Virginia where he played a show and got this guitar from him in an auction toward his juvenile diabetes camp. There's a Green Day guitar signed by Green Day. Bongos that were actually on Ricky Rocket's kit way back in the day. There's a signed Def Leppard autobiography book. A Rush signed Clockwork Angels poster. Two shirts out of the dryer from the Rush R30 tour. They gave them to us. Um, there is me on the Snakes and Arrows stage, and there is me with, you guessed it, Alex Lifeson and Getty Lee from Rush. There's my backstage pass from that particular show. There's 6 a.m., there's Bon Jovi autograph. Bon Jovi autograph. My wife loves that. And here's something neat. This is the Motley Crue Final Tour itinerary book, which was given to band and staff members for the actual tour. So that's kind of neat. And I think we've got it all, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Here's how everything looks coming around. This is kind of how everything shakes out inside of the room. The drum set's just my little kit that I play on. So guys, I hope you enjoy it. God bless.